Okay, there we are once again the famous Bendix Diner as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee Hasbro Kites, New Jersey Route 17 South I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback for more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about maybe more madness who who the hell knows who the hell knows Ambulated when, about. I, when I asked the amulet too did God create man did man create God yeah. blah, 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 blah. He's your buddy. He couldn't buy it so no. I, said, I said you have selective beliefs you believe what you want to believe that's oh, not good but when she gets upset she pouts so, her lips well, she and she goes faster she goes faster her second to lose yeah right but run into, I said slow down slow down she stutters her lips her lips come out like a goldfish and, and, and you know Bill you know Billy you know just slow down just you're getting you, yourself all excited and just you wait but she was doing what that that old guy used to do about the Catholic priest oh, he she's doing the same thing the, I said your God doesn't exist did you know did you know that when I was a kid they sent me to Sunday school well, everybody back then, I and I had to get up early for it anyway besides the point so they had a photo of what they thought was yeah, God the white hair the big bird guess what guy. he was doing he was lounging on a cloud he was all laying back well, all gods do. <laughs> so is that what we do for all eternity we play harps floating around this Floating amongst the clouds, well, we don't know. No, but well, I proved. I, I told you I met people that were did die. But when I took back. when I, I took the you. United Airlines flight, I purposely looked out to see if anybody was playing harps. But I told you I did meet people that died and were brought back and what they saw. So, so the energy that made them who they were, the soul, or the nafish in, in Hebrew, or the or the spirit, left their body no, but and they look, traveled. You look, you look the same. Only well, if you're old, you go back. If you're yeah. young or infantile, yeah. you go to the right. And you look zero. healthy. You don't have, of course, well, you don't have gone. it. Yeah. All the pain and suffering, and it's beautiful. So I'll prove it to you yeah. right now. No pain, no suffering, no cold, no heat waves, no cancer. Well, I'm not quiet now. You get, I'm starting to get old. Yeah, I know, though. Okay, look look at me. I'm twitching. Got decaf. I'm twitching. Okay. Is there such a thing as death or dying? Oh, jeez. I got the bush right. Life continues, it goes on, doesn't it? There you go. Oh, without a doubt. You know, you know what I told this religious uh, nut? I says, uh, how do we? How do you know we're not just one big extraterrestrial experiment here on Earth? How do you know the races didn't actually, or evolution wasn't sp speeded up by extraterrestrials? Jimmy, it was. We're not from this planet. Well, this guy was really, you know. Again, I'm going to show it again. I'm these talking about these individuals. These are things ancient aliens have discussed. I've done with my eyes right. a whole bit. But there are nuts out there who still refuse to comply. Is the human species from this planet? <sighs> Stop worrying about your fucking elbow and listen. Look at this. No, oh, it itches me. I got well, bit by. Okay, listen. Were we put here, brought here, and created as a species by aliens? Right, everything I've told you, Jimmy, right here. I've told people that for decades. Yeah. For decades. I said, we're not from this planet. We're so susceptible yeah. to illnesses, diseases, and everything else. We haven't adapted well. Has the human species adapted well to Earth? I prove it to you a lot within five minutes. Yeah, let me ask a question. What do you want to ask when you're done. Like, what do you what do you want? No, I like the I like the feel of the swing. You can't feel the swing. Swing by itself. What do you want to ask? No, but I, I like to. I like to. Give me what do you want to ask? I want to feel it. You'll feel it in a minute. What do you want to ask? Since I've got it. <laughs> Was the concept of an, uh, a primate evolving into a human actually an extraterrestrial experiment? 
I know it's all proven bullshit in the past. They found out it's a true Darwin's theory of evolution. Because other, otherwise, there'll be apes coming out of the forest. Darwin's theory of evolution, total bullshit. See what I just told yeah. you? We verified it right there. See yeah. how I, you went on and on? I said, get right to the point, and bam. A girl was talking about that today. She goes, well, some, yeah. she goes yes. Sometimes she said the word for what you could make your point. But some, out. but some parts of life are not bam like Emerald Lagasse. Most are, most are. You can get the point quicker. Like, like another. Like I said when you meet Matt, you two are going to get. Like in other life. words, Darwin, Darwin felt that it happened automatically. The primates coming out of the forest, well, walking up, right? What makes Darwin so, so much of an expert? But I'm saying it was probably aliens that caused that. I, I just told you. Well, it was probably. We don't have conclusive, hard. Does Noah's Ark exist? <laughs> now watch. Probably DNA. No. Now watch. Does the Ark of the Covenant truly exist? Okay. I've known this stuff for so long. The, 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 the so called energy from the Ark of the Covenant was probably extraterrestrial. I just said it's alien. Yeah. Is the Ark of the Covenant an alien device? Nothing new to me. Thank you. Well, on Ancient Aliens, they they discussed that there, it's not. I know, and the guys that open it, zap and a light beam and energy. No, 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 no. They they probably collected DNA from all the animals of, of the Earth. There's no way you can fit a pair, a male and a female, of every single creature on this ark. There is no ark. No, it's probably an alien ship with DNA. Well, maybe it's a story. Maybe. For all we know, maybe some earth, earthling, earth species came from another planet. In fact, the, uh, the true ark today is over, I think, in Scandinavia somewhere, way up and high in the mountains and miles and miles dug into the mountainside. It, it contains billions of DNA and core yeah. samples of everything on the planet. Did, did you see, the, pro did you see the program of how the government is keeping heavy UFO sightings over Antarctica? There's some kind of a tunnel. In, in, in Antarctica? I told you to look about the 1947 air battle over Los Angeles with UFOs and UFO, uh, air, air battle fighters. You can look that up. Look it up. No, I got to look that up. Was there a 19, in 1947, was there an air battle over Los Angeles with U.S. military fighter jets and UFOs? There you go. Yeah. I know I remember seeing the Phoenix, Arizona sightings. And, and Shanghai, China. I know. Yeah. Let me see how good you get, boy. No, I don't want to compete with. But I don't no, want to I, compete. I don't. I just want to see how good you get. Come on now. The master is this. It's not me little or little you. Further. It's 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 the power. No, no, Jimmy. It appreciates how you ask things too. That's why it likes something. Because you're uh, you're obsessed with. Uh, Quickness, you're like the Manhattan people, yes. like the New Yorkers. Jimmy, let me ask you a thing. You know, like like everything's in a hurry, right? Am I right? It's the best to make your point, get to your point, and get out quick. Where are you going? When you get out quick. But you just like that, you're just playing out and that make noses and motions and the whole Where are you city. going? Nowhere but No, because I'm proving a point. You, that didn't prove you have a thing about about silence is golden all yes. the time. And you have a thing about talking all the time. But then when you, you go mean? home, you, it's it's quiet. There's I nobody know, there. It's so nice. And oh, you like that? <laughs> yes. And then the phone fucking rings. <laughs> so you see my point? Make your point. And people agree. Make your point. Get out. Remember when Edith once said here? Well, I'm very detail oriented. I said no, you're not. You're being kind to yourself. That's a nice way of saying you're long winded. Make your point. Is it best to make in any kind of a discussion to make your point and get out? And get out. That's that's the part that puzzles me. Getting out. Meaning get over it. Quick. Oh, get over it. End it. Get out. Make your point and get out. Bam. Beat these people along. They're all like a, where a paragraph or more. They could say in one sentence, like I've done with other people. It's just, what you're saying is blah, blah, blah. They said, yeah. I said, well, why didn't you say that? You know how many people you know? that write blogs? online uh -huh. do what you just said yeah, make your point get out 
they take several paragraphs. Oh, something they can go on, these people. Well, go ahead, ask, let me see your question. In other words, summarize it. I'd like to hear your question. Go on. I got to think, I got to think of a unique question. Well, that's not going to happen today, then. No, this is a big deal. Oh, all right. Socially speaking, are there plenty of dysfunctional people that you meet face to face just like there is online? Okay, ask her one that I've always asked you, ready? Well, I, can't, I knew that because I don't, I don't meet anybody nice in this region. The vast majority of the human race just are clueless. They just don't get it, do they? You just don't want to fucking talk to anybody. The vast majority of people in the human race, are they clueless? They just don't get it? Right into a yes. Right into a yes. Well, there are definitely a lot of imbeciles and nincompoops out there. Ask more. You don't have to explain every answer, do you? No, because I want to. It's my First Amendment right no. to explain every answer. No, not push it in people's face. No, it's no not. I'm not pushing it, it in your face. It has limitations. Okay. No, it's not. You can't do that. And stop the pouting and the angry issues. I'm not pouting. Ask I don't like being censored. Get your, well, then talk to whoever. Call Bob oh, the oh, Builder, right. Bob the Builder, or whatever he'll listen to. You know, among his hoarded magazines. Oh, by the way, who's uh, how's the carpenter doing, uh, our friend? Remember the, the guy? Guy who who builds things, the guy who used to come here a lot. I forgot his name. The guy who builds things. No, he's a, he he's a, a very good at woodworking. He used to come here a lot and, and sit with us. Nice guy, y uh, young, well, middle aged gentleman. Anyway, I, I, I wish I knew him by name. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, well, carpenter. Yeah, he's he 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 was a woodworker. Um, Maybe he misunderstood him. He said a wee whacker. <laughs> Um, did my, uh, does my, um, ex-significant other deeply regret what she did? I don't buy that. Yeah, cause, cause she would have rescued me from this fucking goddamn area. <laughs> You know, what, are, what, the, I ask what the fuck do I have around here? <laughs> well, I'll bet you're out of that Which ex are you talking about? The one, the, re the recent one. one out there? No, the one in San Diego. Oh, the, oh, the one in San Diego. That gave me the deadline. Oh, okay. There's Jimmy's friend out, the girl that his friend out in uh, San Diego. Does she regret anything that she's done to Jimmy? No. So it's saying she's. A, I told you that they so, she's so, so it's saying you she's. Mind a, if I ask if she's some other people? She's a sociopath. All right, right, right. You mind? No, no I, I, he's gonna bother you. Ask no, it's in your hand. I mean, I'm I'm open-minded about things. Well, but some things you don't want to ask if it bothers somebody. Well, you, you want to know? Or not? Well, I I already she already. She already kicked me to the curb, so you might as well ask. This friend of Jimmy's out in San Diego? Yeah. In San Diego. Has she been seeing people behind his back all along? Yeah. Is she a, in, the, in terms, I guess, but no better way to say it, is she... A wax job being a nutcase. Well, she always accused me. My friend Jimmy Madonna. Is he far better off being without her? Yeah, well, she used to accuse me of cheating a lot when I never did a damn thing. Just all to make you feel I want you so much when it's all bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, there you're better, are. You're better off without her. There are women out there that are. What's the word when when they're insanely jealous of things that don't exist? Like when they have no reason to be jealous. Like they think a man is always doing something. Miley Cyrus. My guy. 
Oh God, that that term is so annoying. It really is. That is just because I think it had song. Take me away from my guy. No muscle bound man. He licks my teeth and gets the yellow stains off. He's my guy. I think Ray is now technically her guy. Oh, I don't think it's Ray is her guy. No, he's like, um, if aliens abducted him by mistake, they would probably bring him back within five minutes. <laughs> this planet can be invaded easily. No, you know, they'll, they'll say, they'll, they'll call their home. Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen. They'll call the starship. They'll say, uh, planet Earth, there's nothing here for, <laughs> there's nothing here for us. <laughs> Oh my God! Come out, bring that though. Don't leave that in here, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, let me put it in my pocket. I'll put oh, it yeah, somewhere. Do something. I bring your phone to just. Yeah, sure. All right. Sure. Sure. Oh, by the way, are you still over there? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I should get back Monday. They're saying Monday or Tuesday. That's so. what Jackie said. I need more people here. Nice people. Yeah, but I know this. So but I'm saying, but you're meeting a lot of people. Oh God. But see, it's nice to meet good people. The camera's not gonna lie. He said, he, he said "There you are." The camera. Yeah. She told him, Linda, the manager, said, "Don't ever come in here again." I had trouble with him one day in here. We were in line, two or three people ahead of me. Oh, the cutter. Us. They go next. He goes right over. Said, "I said you've got some fucking set of balls." Doesn't that remind said, you of somebody? You, you get back in line. That reminds me. Ah, ah. That's funny, right? Yeah. And he still gets stands there, catches the water, walks out. He goes, "Thank you." Ah, ah. You see the cultural pattern that I'm getting at? Asian. Joe Joseph, the, that the hit. care about me. My fr uh, friend in Southern California. I really get mad, as you know. I said, you got some set of lies. You got some set of balls, don't you, boy? You said stones, I think. Stones, same balls. shit. Were you with me that day? No, you told me oh, the okay. story. But I said, man, <clears throat> but the, who do you think you are? But the guy, the guy who flim flam my friend Rick Brown in, in, in Southern California is filthy. He he scammed them. He scammed them. It's almost like they, they, they show no remorse. Asians don't care. I don't know what it is. I told you that they found plastic rice mixed in with real rice coming out of China. Let me ask it. Are all Asian races I got, fairly deceitful? Is there... I hate to I hate to say this, but ask this, but is is there a pattern with Asian cultures of being deceitful and dishonest? Uh, well, in India is no India is no angel either. No, but you mentioned Asian first. Hey, is India any better? Oh, because well, it's the same continent. Continent well, is is India is, is the India region uh, any better than the the um, the rest? Oh, they are they are more ethical. Okay. By very much. Follow up. Are they? more ethical by very much of the rest of Asia? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're in business and you have customers, it, to, to be like that? The Indians, the, the India from India, the Indian race, are Indians? For the most part, pretty deceitful. Are Asians as well, most Asian races as well? Do the Indians and the Asians run pretty neck and neck? I, well, I think it's, just, it's pettiness is what it is. It's like the only thing I always said with an amulet. Is it wrong for me to ask? I like to know things for sure. Is it wrong for me to ask about anything and everything? No. There you go. Okay. Oh, I got a good question. Oh, I'll bet. Let me hear this one now. Go ahead, let's hear it. You're wasting time. Get to your point. 
Now your sarcasm yes, it is, don't, before don't I even it, open my mouth. Don't explain it. Why do you have to make a comment like because that? Because I did. Just go, go, go. Don't, I, don't decipher, Jethro. Go ahead. What my grandfather. Let go, let go, let go. What my grandfather used to say about people that are cheap and stingy. He used to say they're penny wise and pound foolish. What is that an accurate saying? Is this directly applied to business when people treat their customers poorly? Believe, isn't it incredible how even in the fitness world there's like pettiness and backstabbing and drama? No. It's everywhere, every field imaginable. You know, they call it office politics sometimes. But I tell you one thing, like when your dad was around, I bet those guys didn't didn't let any office politics screw screw disrupt businesses. It's a whole different era. That was back in the three martini lunches, the whole bit. Now brown nosing, backstabbing. Today they frown on drinking, and back then everybody drank at lunch and three martini lunches. Well, my uncle Phil says, "What what am I supposed to do when I take a, a valuable client out?" When he when he was vice president of Westinghouse. Was my dad's era at IBM and at other corporations around the world a totally different period and era? Nothing like old school. So my dad always told me and taught me the human being is the oddest animal on the planet. Are you telling me? Was he right? Absolutely. Absolutely right. The most. The most. Uh, here we go. Bam. Yeah. Emma Lugazi. Well, you talk about everything. Because I like to talk. You, you, I'm a public speaker. You know I'm like, like the Romans. No, Remember no, with no, the with like the like toga? Roman. No, you're not. I'm an orator. You know, see, I can't even get a word in. You know what you like? <laughs> Catapex. What is that? It's an amphetamine. We used to take a football when I gave my one, but he could not shut up. I was like the. I gave Mike that one night at, at uh, Gilligan's. He's standing there. Like, will you stop it? Well, I do. I do pause a lot, though. I said, no, you don't. I said, will you stop it? He goes, what? I said, you're clanking your teeth together. He goes, no, I'm not. Oh my God! Well, I don't do that. You're not. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm trying to get to the point here. Adapex make people talk a lot. That's what you're like. It's like you're on. That's why I called you Adapex. But like what's the Adipex. point in even having friendship if you can't communicate? But the, keep talking, Jimmy. Not keep going on. When I was on the phone here one day with somebody, you sat there and you kept talking. Natalia, rescue me. <laughs> you kept talking when I was on the phone one day here. Because I had somebody on the other line. No, you weren't on the phone. I was on the phone. You sat there and kept talking. What was I talking to? Uh, nobody. Eileen? Nobody. And when you're on the phone, I shut up. Oh, I was I was you rambling. Didn't shut up. I and I wasn't talking to anybody. No, to me, it was just you and I. Okay, that's the end of our. It was just you and I. I was on the phone. You kept talking. Okay. Right. When you're on the phone, I shut up. I let you okay. go on the phone because I know you're on the phone. Okay. Right. See my point? You can talk, Jimmy. All right. Hey, you've been a friend for now, some odd years. Now, now there's mind. also there's also hypocrites like Andrew Anderson who would make statements about me and turn around and do the total opposite and do the same thing I did, going you know going now, what are you around. Talking about talking about what? Like, no, I'm I'm talking about being like lecherously. Uh, Hitting on everybody. Hitting on? What do you mean? Hitting on, like in other words, he, he, um, well, we used to use a term back in the day called cock blocking. That's when a friend tries to blow you out of the water with a girl. Well, like trying to come off as the, the big cool guy. But he he came back to the same establishment and hit on, and tried to hit on the same female that. But how are you getting off on that? What are you? I'm, I'm talking about people that. Talk a lot of shit that are hypocrites. In other words, be accurate. If you're accurate and, and you're right on the money, I respect you. 
I'll have to get right. off on that thing. Because I'm trying to remember I don't know how you got what you were something. talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Like, how did you, like you were on the phone with somebody. You said I, there was no one else around. No. Nope. And I was rambling. Yeah, you kept talking while I was on the phone. Oh, oh, oh. And, and what I'm saying is when you were on the oh, phone, okay. I shut up. So. All right. All right. point, well, if I really did that, I apologize. Yeah, just when people on the phone, you know. but when you're on the phone, like you've heard me say to other people, I'm here, McDonald's, Jimmy, Maddie. Let me call you when I get home. Bam. Yeah. Quick, get off. Well, I tried. I See? tried to. I tried I to let him. Maddie, Maddie, I'm with. I'm I'll, with Jimmy at McDonald's. Let me, yeah. He goes, oh, I'm sorry. I said, it's all right. Well, he was. He, he was telling me a story so frantically. I had a. I had to try to, you know, slow him down. Conversation is it best to make your point quick and get out. You really don't like to talk to people. No, I like to get to the point quick. I'll talk, but in, in spurts. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the swing. Look at this. People have what they call the gift of gab. They go on about nothing. That's the thing. Uh, or, or maybe, maybe. It's too much. What if they, Jim, Jimmy, what what if to, they bring up keywords, important what, points what I, of the story? They don't. When I have to interrupt they don't? somebody, say, so what you're trying to say is blah, blah, blah. I say it in one sentence. And they say, yeah. You and know say, well, what? Why didn't you say that? Even though you went to school in San Antonio, in Texas, and other areas, and you were born in Baltimore, and you grew, you lived in Ridgewood, you have a New York City personality. You're like, in a hurry. Beep, 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 beep. I, I can't figure out why. I just asked it. Why are you so is, nervous? Is, is, I'm not nervous. I don't like dabbing about nothing. I don't like small talk. Well, those other dudes, the seniors that talk about their stitches, now that's gabbing about. And inside I'm saying, shut that's, up. That's you're gabbing. Not, inside I'm saying, you're driving me fucking. I mean, up. here. You know how many times inside when they start repeating shit you told me last week? Yeah. I'm like, well, you just, now here, don't want to be me in a room. But here we're talking about ancient aliens, evolution. But, but they go too long. Religion. They talk about things they told me time and time but and time silly again. Stuff. I don't care, but they go on about it. I don't need to hear right. it again. But silly you, shit. You told me once. Why are they telling me again? You know, a person that just talks about petty things about themselves is really a selfish person because, uh, you know, no, the, no, yes and no. the world doesn't revolve around that one individual. You they, know what I they mean? Don't know him. Yeah. They don't know him. They don't know Like, for instance, Donald Trump thinks the universe revolves around Donald Trump. It is, but it's his own universe, not the real reality <laughs> one. His universe revolves around him, but not the true you one. Now he wants to have a second summit oh, with Vladimir Putin. Oh, the ba the blimp is coming to the U.S. I'm so happy. And you know, the baby uh, Trump. They are former Secret Service man or whatever to Russia right. on TV today. Said word for word what I've told people for months. He's kissing Putin's ass because they've got something on him big time. He said they've got something big on Trump, and he's afraid to rock the boat with Putin. And you know when they arrested Stormy Daniels in Columbus, Ohio? That, well, that was settled overnight, but it was just bullshit. That's about it. But, but I bet Trump, don't be surprised if Trump didn't have detectives there well, watching. It doesn't matter. Now you've got the other thing coming out now with this other girl, with Karen McDougal from uh, That's right, Playboy. Playboy. Well, Stormy Daniels is performing at Lace in Wayne, New Jersey. She's she's make she's on the road now. She's she's cap well she's capitalizing on her popularity. You know the bottom line is good for her. Make yeah, your, make your and I like her me. lawyer. You're not a bitch. And I like her lawyer. But she's not a bitch. No, she's very honest when she but was she interviewed. She seems like a nice girl and, and smart. Her out for being in the porno and hey, you don't stop. Okay? Yeah, but, yeah, but just because somebody. Is a, is doesn't a, make you bad. Is an exotic dancer or does porn? That doesn't, doesn't make them. Make you a bad girl. But that doesn't make them stupid either. A lot of them are smart. I know. I happen to think she's smart, and I think her lawyer well, let's go back. Let's go is a great lawyer, lawyer Avenatti. Uh, Jenna, Jenna, Jameson, worth over half a billion dollars or maybe more by now. She married somebody popular. Was it Mark Gastineau? No. John Moran. <laughs> yeah, you you knuckle, you knuckle no. liked him. <laughs> We used to like like brag when he used to well, play. Well, no, right? there's nothing wrong with celebrating, but he was he's a brat now. You know, like that Bridges, Bridges Wilson was, he was nothing but a butch guy with small tits. Yeah, you know, I couldn't believe, you know who married Jean-Claude Van Damme? The, the bodybuilder Gladys Portuguese from the 1980s? Oh, she's got to be 70 or 80 now. No, but she... Well, if she is, she looks fantastic. Yeah, but she's, she's been around since I was but yet, a lot, but she looks, younger. But she looks really good. From New York, but she's Puerto Rican, New York. She and probably said to him, you'll become my man of war. Get it? Portuguese man of war? Yeah, the jellyfish. Stupid joke. 
jellyfish. And if he gets upset with her seeing other guys, he'll, he'll be the jealous fish. See, that's the only thing. Once you, when you get seriously involved and you cohabitate with someone, will they tell you you got to give up your hobbies and your friends and your interests? That is the question. Will they be a control freak? Some are, some are. That's the bottom line. But do you believe in trial uh, live togethers before people get married? Well, and I lived together was phenomenal. And you had no problems? Oh, God, no. It was phenomenal. The only difference is she wanted to be married. Get married, yeah. We'd go out at night, guys night, girls night. I'd go out with my buddies. She'd go out. We'd arrange where, what time do you want to meet at Mando's or whatever, or the place club. I'd meet you there at 1 o'clock, bam. We met, came back home together. There was no insane jealousy, outbursts, or any. No. Nothing. Well, we didn't. But there are women that do that. Yes. Yes, I'm just. That's... I guess that there's all kinds out there. There are those that do. You said women that do that. There are women that don't do that. I would say, Toby, you look at yeah. both sides. You know? You, I... It's like you say, if what if so and so does this? My responsibility would be, what if she doesn't? You know, so. Yeah, well, it, well if you're going to accuse a significant other of some, it's good to have proof. It's good to have evidence. Well, yeah, but if, you know, what kind of evidence? Does it have to be visual? What if it's what by a number of people telling you something? Uh, uh, did they all band together to hurt you? I doubt it. Nine times out of ten, probably not. Yeah, what did my uncle I think. I think with Terry's problem, which she, I think, I, my guess was a lot of people say I was probably right. She listened to her girlfriends because the Billy runs around like he's going to leave. Oh right? my God! He's, I said, I guarantee you. They told Let me her, tell you something. They my, got her thinking he's going to leave. You. My friend, uh, Mario. Oh, uh, oh yeah, wait, not wait, Mario. Wait, I'm sorry. Real quick. Her final words to, to me were, I remember. Yeah. I'm not going to have you do to me what my father did to my mother. Oh boy. Here that's, we that's go. That's the girlfriends got to her. Because, there you go, there you go. My, because my friend Anthony Laura was living yeah. with someone and their relationship yeah. worked out. As soon as she started going out with the girlfriends, they filled their head up and she kicked him out and changed the locks. He's gonna, he runs around. He runs around. He's going to do it. My uncle Phil used to call that sour. Well, some, girls get upset if you, some girls get upset if you talk to other girls. I said, yes. Well, so uncle, if I talk to guys, yeah. I'm gay? Yeah. So, so what's that? I talk to a lot of people. Right. Well, well, Uncle, what's your, what's your point? Uncle Phil used to say it's either sour grapes or misery likes company. I like that when people used to get upset. I used to go, God, what's that smell? Oh yeah, sour grapes. <laughs> well, you know when when the girls drag their their friend. Let's so say let's say their friend is talking to a guy in a in a club, and she seems to be hitting it off with him, and they drag her into the ladies' room. Pop 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 pop. Beep, 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 beep. They feel, they fill their head up, man. But, but a woman should, if she's an adult, she has, she should have an independent mind. You can call me Ray, and you can call me. She should, she should have an independent mind. They're, they're, yeah. I mean, you know, to stay home. Give me that. Let me ask you. All day. Paper, I've got it in the car. Why are suicide rates more than doubling, especially among teens, the whole bit? The World Health Organization last week classified the, the phones, texting, texting. B -B -B. The phones as an actual addiction. I've been telling you for how long it's an addiction. Long before the WHO organization. Yeah, but, but I'm saying millennials literally are hypnotized. Huh. They have the phone right in front of their face. I've been telling you all that for how long? I said, don't you guys realize you're being assimilated? You're being taken in. It's a joke. My dad. Brainwashing. My dad in the 50s remember warned me, this stuff is going to destroy us. Why are most people, it shows how weak they are, taken in by it. Me, it bores me to death. But. You know, I've never done one. If you don't let, but you have, if for people to learn how to communicate with other people, you have to also not discourage them from communicating. You know, you have to like let but them. They are discouraged by the machines. The, yeah. they're, they're not communicating anymore. No, no, they're, they're texting everybody. Take that away, make them actually communicate. Yeah. Texting yeah. is not communication to me, you're typing. Did you all sit behind typewriters before this shit came around? No, I don't buy it. I will not be assimilated, no. I'm too strong for that. Could you imagine nothing, how- Nothing interesting. Could you imagine how people what got along back in like when i used to go to salem massachusetts for halloween i went into the house of the seven gables you know what the hell they had in there they had a, a hearth no telephone no television no nothing no computers all it was was the mattress was made of straw they had they cooked in the heart in the fireplace and that was it well that's my point 
they're being taken in by electronics. It's not but, good, but, see? But people, people had each other. That's and my they, boy. You know? I said, talk. I said, see how they talk. talk. But you got to let people talk, too. To a point. Don't yeah. let them get long-winded and drag. Yeah. Like when you see people sitting here, a family of four, and all four are thumbing their ass up. No, that's not good. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. The whole, remember we saw that one time? The whole family was texting? I said, remember, I said, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at the beep, 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 beep. It's just wrong. What's going on? It's soccer. It's not even a sport. It takes so long to score in soccer. They don't score much. No. It's like, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's kind of, it's kind of, it's a boring game. I, I can't get into it. I, I mean, you know, well, even hockey has a certain group of fanatics that love hockey. Not that much, Jimmy. I mean, I'm not crazy. Well, football outdraws viewership on TV over hockey. That tell you. Arena football blows away hockey in them. On, our, on viewership. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. NFL's getting hurt now. There are a lot of empty seats. Oh, you should see how popular the Science Channel's battle bots are getting. The robots with weapons on it that fight each other. You would love this one robot called Bronco. It flips the opponent's robot high up in the air as it's a flipper. Some have a drum roll, some have a saw. You know. But they don't get beaten because just like the only big, big truck in the world used to be Bigfoot, now everybody's got a big truck. Called monster trucks. Oh, the monster trucks. They've yeah. all got them now. There used to be only one Bigfoot. Yeah. So they were all going to come out. That's you, all. You, you know, you know what it still amazes the shit out of me? The bull riding contest at a rodeo. The bull riders. I got well, a lot of respect for them. I got respect for them. I heard they put something it's around the. Tall, tall, tall. It could be lonely, you know. You no, know, he's with his wife all the time. He tried to do it to us one day after getting here, and I, I, I said, oh, no. Now, but getting back to bull riding, I heard they, they tie something around the bull's testicles to piss him off. Possibly. Because I've been, um, the, taught. The metal, what is it, the Meadowlands, the Meadowlands Fair, um, Giant Stadium. They had a... He this beer, and he, I hate beers. He looks like hell with that beer. Well, you gotta wa you gotta keep that clean. You gotta wash you that stuff. It looks dirty even if it is clean. It's a beard. Yeah. Beard like but, any but anyway, there was a petting zoo. Had a full grown Brahma bull. Mm -hmm. You know how calm that Brahma bull was. I fed it. I petted it. It wasn't. It wasn't like angry and you know wanting to kill, ram somebody. It was calm. It licked. It licked my hand. A Brahma bull. So they must do something to make the bull uncomfortable. To make it buck like that. Yeah, right, you know, that's enough. Too bad. Yeah, it would have been kind of funny if Eileen showed up. Isn't it funny how she showed up during the week? She's here one day, we won't see you for three weeks. Well, she still insists that Ray is just a platonic friend, so what are you going to do? Until the next time, Ray's been in here telling everybody he's hooked up with you. She goes right to Oh yeah, let's rile her up next time. That's nothing, it's just my finger is wet. So. Oh, I know. Hey, you can call me, Ray. Hey, you can call me, Ray. Hey, 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 I can't take that. Well, he should really try to talk to his wife unless she's boring as all hell. But he just goes on and on and on. Let's go, maybe we'll see Yeah, all right. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.